11 fragrances from Target that are under $30. Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia, here on my channel. I love all things affordable fashion and beauty. I do hauls, tutorials, reviews, fragrance reviews, all sorts of fun stuff. So if that sounds good to you, please subscribe, stick around, be a friend. All right, you guys, I'm super excited to bring you these fragrances. I got this idea when I realized I had a collection of Target gift cards piled up because one, I'm just really, really bad about using gift cards. Like it's a great gift to give. It's a great gift to receive, but I tend to just put them away, forget to use them. So I brought out all these Target gift cards and I really just didn't want to buy clothing from there. I have enough like makeup and things like that. So I thought, wait a minute, I'm going to buy fragrance. That would be so fun to test out their fragrances and review for you guys. So the majority of these I did purchase myself. There's a couple of things that did come in PR from Pacifica that will be included here, but I just thought it would be really fun to break these down, give you my review. Some of these I never see anyone talk about. So if you wanna hear about all of these very affordable fragrances from our beloved Target, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I'm not gonna spend a really long time on these first couple of fragrances because they are from Finery, and I actually have a video that reviewed these two plus two others. Now, I did decide to um, declutter the other two. They will be in an upcoming future declutter fragrance video. So the two that I did decide to keep, though, are the New Rouge and Pistachio Please. So the New Rouge is actually a dupe um, or a inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a very infamous, famous, much duped fragrance out there. And I do have a sample of that, so I know exactly what it smells like. And this is super, super on the nose close. I think that it is one of the best dupes that I have actually smelled. Um, so that is a, this one is like a saffron, sandalwood, amber, kind of fluffy marshmallow type of vibe. Um, really, really pretty. If you're looking for a dupe and you don't want to spend the money on Baccarat, highly, highly recommend this. The other one is Pistachio Please. A lot of people thought this was going to be a dupe for Kaylee Pistachio Yum. This is actually a dupe for the Sol de Janeiro Cheriosa 62. So this is like caramel. Um, I, it like a little, this one doesn't have as much nuttiness in it actually. So you don't get as much as like the pistachio as you do in the Cheriosa, but it is really, really pretty. Um, very, very close as well. This is one that on the skin after it dries down and the sillage in the air, you really can't tell much of a difference between this and the Sol de Janeiro. So it is a little bit less expensive than theirs and the bottle is really pretty. So again, I do recommend this. Next, we're gonna go with Mix Bar. So I first smelled these actually at Walgreens because they had them on display where you could get a whiff and I really liked a few of them. So this is Whipped Almond and you guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful scent. What I love about the Mix Bar fragrances is they layer so beautifully together. They also layer great with other fragrances, but you can really mix and match these and create such a beautiful sillage around you. So this one is almond, iris, sweet milk, and sandalwood. It is very soft. Um, the sandalwood is very smooth, you know, since it does have that like milkiness to it with the almond. And I don't find this extremely powdery. It's just a beautiful cloud around you. I love this one by itself, but it also mixes so beautifully with the others. Okay, next we have Cloud Musk. And speaking of layering, I love the almond with the Cloud Musk. And the notes in here are cardamom, iris, jasmine, cotton peony, and tonka beans. So this is very, very smooth once again. I feel like all these mix bars are very smooth. So this is a beautiful musk. It's a beautiful skin scent 
which is awesome by itself. Like, I think this is the perfect, you know, if you work close quarters in an office, if someone's sensitive to fragrance, if you yourself are sensitive to fragrance, if you don't really like to do strong florals, that this would be perfect. This is a great gym scent, straight out of the shower going to bed. And then again, I just think it pairs so beautifully with the whipped almond. It's just like light and fluffy and clean and pretty and easy. Really, really beautiful together. Next, we have one that I absolutely adore. It is Coconut Palm. Um, and this one is Coconut Wood, Vanilla, Salty Accord, Incense, Amber, Musk, Milk. Again, this is a very milky, soft, fluffy. The coconut in here is, it, I wouldn't say it's subtle, like you can definitely pick it out, but it's not a synthetic smelling coconut to me. It is a coconut wood, so it's almost, it's a little, this is a little bit like the Seven Virtues, but a little muskier. It's not incredibly woody. I'd say this is more just like a unsweetened, musky, vanilla, coconut that the saltiness in here isn't prominent either. You get a little bit of that, but not a whole lot. And again, you mix this with any of the other two. I've even put all three of these on at once and I was like, I smell amazing. Um, the lasting time on these, it's not gonna last forever. Well, duh, no fragrance lasts forever. I mean, it's not extremely long lasting, but if you heavily dose, which when I say heavily dose, I mean like spray, 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 spray. That's how I like to spray. That might be too much for other people, but if you do that with this and you do that front spray on your clothing, this will last a good four to six hours. Very, very affordable. I also think that these bottles are really chic and pretty with the frosted glass. Really, really pretty. Also the finery ones, same thing, about four to six hours if you heavily spray and get it on your clothing as well. All right, now we're gonna go on to Good Chemistry. Now, I first tried Good Chemistry from CVS. I have several roller balls of them. Since then, I'm not like a big roller ball person. I still own several, like the Queen Bee. There's like a Lily one, I think. Um, I can't think of them all right now. I'm only gonna show you the two full-size bottles that I have um, because I really, really think that they're so cute. It kind of looks like a little chemistry. Um, what do you, what do you call this? Like with the little, like a measurement <laughs> with the little lines here, really, really pretty. Again, I think really chic and simple, but <clears throat> pink palm is dragon fruit, magnolia and sugared vanilla. This is a very happy peppy spring summer scent to me. The dragon fruit is very juicy and the magnolia is that like a beautiful blooming flower and then the sugared um, note in it is not too sweet. It almost has a little bit of a freesia um, feel to it, even though freesia isn't listed in here, but freesia can be like kind of a bubbly flower that almost has an effervescence to it. You kind of get that with this. Like it, it almost seems like this should be a drink, like a tropical drink with like a little flower on the side. Really, really like this. It's just really fun, fresh, perfect for spring and summer. Okay, next up we have cocoa blush. So this is pineapple, driftwood, and coconut water. This is really, really pretty. I think this is such a sophisticated coconut because again, it's not like an in your face coconut. It's not too sweet. It literally smells, you can get that driftwood from it. This really is such a tropical beachy vibe, but not in the kind of traditional sense. So. You know, don't think tropical flowers or tropical drink. This is 
definitely like the driftwood you get and then you get like a coconut skin. It just, it kind of smells like what it would be like to be stranded on um, an island. It is such a pretty summer fragrance. On to the six Pacifica fragrances. And you can purchase these again at Ulta. You can get them on their site, but I just love to use Target now for like if I get those gift cards or sometimes I do see these go on sale. Sometimes you can use that $5 gift card that Target will send on these as well. So just keep that in mind if you are thinking about picking up any of these from uh, Pacifica. So the first one is Silver Moon. And by the way, this is in the new packaging. It's also a new formulation, I believe. I'm not sure exactly what all they changed in it from the others. The others were those square bottles. I thought they were really pretty too, but they've gone a different route with these. <clears throat> so this is black pepper, pettigrain, and elderflower, cumin, alabnum, cedarwood, sage, sandalwood, upcycled, vetiver, and cypress. That's a lot of notes, you guys. Like that is a complicated scent profile that really results in something kind of <clears throat> herbal but still <clears throat> excuse my voice kind of herbal still very very soft feminine although I could almost picture a man wearing this and this smelling really really nice I think because it has that sage and cedar wood in it it kind of grounds it makes it a little bit earthy but still so pretty at the same time. Like I feel like the notes make this sound like it would be a more difficult wear than it is. It's really, really beautiful. I think it's definitely one of my favorites from Pacifica, if not my favorite. All right, next up we have the Passion Fruit. This is a newer fragrance for them. And this is a bergamot, passion fruit, watermelon, pineapple, orange blossom, rose, ginger, sandalwood, vanilla, and musk. Now, again, that's a lot of notes, and I don't think this one is as complicated or as pretty. This one is easy. This one is like a buy the pool, throw it in your beach bag, take it with you, take it to the pool when you get out and you wanna smell good. Also, these don't last, I don't think, as long as the other three that I just told you about. These wear off pretty, pretty quickly. I'd say like, you're probably not gonna get more than four hours on these. I mean, unless you just spray all over, but I don't always have to have a really long fragrance. Sometimes I wanna change it up, or sometimes there's just like a satisfaction in respraying yourself. So it doesn't always bother me. Um, this one is, it, you get a lot of the passion fruit for sure. I can't really pick out all the separate fruits that are in here and it's fairly line linear to me. So this is just like a summery, fruity spritzer kind of, and I like it. It's just not one of my favorites, but it is a very, very easy wear. All right, next up we have Indian Coconut Nectar. Now, to be honest, I thought for sure this was going to be like my favorite. So I did purchase um, three of these Pacifica and three of them were sent to me. I purchased this one thinking, cause I love coconut, I love vanilla and I like it. It's just not my favorite coconut, vanilla, amber fragrance. So that's what this is. It's pretty. And again, these layer pretty nicely. This one in Silver Moon layer pretty nicely. There's something about this one that just kind of reads a little bit more synthetic, almost like if you were just going to make something like coconut flavored. So it does kind of give a like pina colada vibe. <laughs> Let's put the gap on. It, it does give a pina colada vibe, but I don't know. I mean, now that I'm smelling it, I'm thinking I'm liking it a little bit better than I have in the past. I think it's still fun. I think it's easy. Um, I do think, you know, summertime, if you want something like I said to just, I think these are perfect for like taking along with you. Vacations, beach vacations, pool time. So I think it's great for that. There's just other coconut scents I like a little bit more. All right, now we have a dream moon and this is pink rose, sandalwood, and patchouli. I, reading those notes, I'd be like, I won't like that. But you guys, I first got Dream Moon and Silver Moon, 
and another one, I can't remember what it was called, but in a little hair fragrance spray from TJ Maxx. And I went to bed that night. That's what like prompted me to buy three on my own because the hair mists were so pretty. I was just enveloped in this beautiful cloud and I woke up smelling like it. So it, those do stay in the hair pretty nicely. So I was surprised that I liked this so much because patchouli and I don't always get along, but this is, it's just so pretty. It's mixed and blended really well. The patchouli doesn't scream at you at all. I definitely get more of the sandalwood than anything in here. But instead of like, sometimes sandalwood can almost like, it can be creamy, it can be like more woody. This one is just, it's kind of both. And like with the rose with it, it's just really soft and pretty. I just, I really love this one. This, this one and Silver Moon are definitely my favorites out of all of them. And again, I think the bottle of this is super, super cute. Okay, next up we have Beach Day. This is one that was sent to me. And I was like, ooh, beach. Like you say beach. And I just, I get excited because I think it's going to either be fruity or maybe like those tropical floral notes in it, sunny. So what this one is, is orange flower, sandalwood, and smoke. And what's weird about this one is when I first spray it, I really like it. I get that sandalwood, but like it's more of like a woody, earthy type of sandalwood. So I don't know if it's just my skin because this doesn't make sense to me. And I'm gonna talk about this other one because, well, I'll tell you why. So this is Montana Sky and this is elderflower, cedarwood and sage. So, I thought I sprayed these one on each arm and I was like, oh, I like this one a lot. This one I didn't like at first. And straight out of the bottle, it stinks. It kind of smells like stinky patchouli. Like sometimes patchouli to my nose can smell dirty and like a dirty diaper. So this out of the straight out, I'm like, it's a dirty diaper. I don't like it. So then little time was going by and I was like, why does this arm smell like patchouli really, really strong. And this one doesn't. This one smells more like aromatic, earthy, herbal, like more of that sage cedar wood coming out. And I thought maybe I mixed them up. So I sprayed again and a little time goes by. And sure enough, even though patchouli is not listed in this, it does say smoke. And I don't know if they're getting, if it's like a smoke accord that they're getting from patchouli and something else. But to me, this dries down like a stinky patchouli, whereas this straight out the bottle stinks kind of like that, and then it goes away. And I actually do kind of enjoy this. This one, I feel like I need a little bit more layering with it. I haven't tried it yet, but I think, because this one's a little bit more masculine, I do think once it dries down, it's more unisex, but I think mixing in a vanilla with this or something maybe like soft and powdery, even almost like a, um, like an almond, like that almond whip from Mix Bar mixed with this might cut in to a little bit of that, you know, like gritty earthiness of this and make it more nuanced. So I'm gonna try that. This one, I just, it's that stinky patchouli dry down that I do not like of this one. Even though straight out of the bottle, I think it smells so good. It's such a good sandalwood at first it just does not wear on me nicely. So I think this is actually my least favorite out of all the Pacifica ones that I have. That is it, you guys. That is my 11 fragrances under $30 from Target. I really hope that you guys decide to pick one of these up. Let me know if you do. I will have them linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.